All right, peace, ladies and gentlemen. It's your good man, uh, Poets Kane. Tone Space, Poets Kane. It's an anagram, so they're both the same, aka Dr. A Manhattan. And what I've got for you right here is something that uh, just came across my desk. I had a late start to the day, but this just came across my desk in expedience. It actually came from different directions. It's a uh, um, shit-talking YouTuber Lamar Wills gets pressed in his hometown um, by somebody. Personally, I think the person that pressed him is a punk. I'm going to give what I believe is my unique perspective about what happened. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just let you hear the exchange, the shit that happened, and then we're going to run it back, and then I'll give a little commentary. But first, I want you to be able to uh, indulge and digest the entire thing from the jump. All right? Here we go. Let me mute up and let you guys hear Lamar Wills get impressed. Let me just get to the mic. All right? Mute that up. Everybody mute up. What's that, Lamar? Yeah. All right. Bro, bro, what's your name? LA. Lamar? What's your name? I'm Robert. No, let me holler at you, man. Come on. What's going on? Just, no, go ahead. Take your business. Come I'm on. I'm trying to find a hat that one for the guy. Shit, take your time. Just, you know me, right? Just take your time. Come, come on, hold me. Right? Don't kill yeah. me. What's up, baby? Give me one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, you know, uh, you know anybody on Superior? You don't know nobody on Superior? You ain't got no grandkids or none on Superior? Nope. You don't know nobody on Superior? Nobody at all. So you ain't, you ain't never got into it with nobody or nothing on Superior? No. Look, anybody you know on Superior, bro, that's a dead. They're my mans, they're my peoples, bro. I don't got to be with nobody. Anybody you got any problem with on Superior, that's your dead, my nigga. I don't have no problem with nobody on Superior. You sure? Sure, I don't got no problem You ain't got no grandbabies or nothing? Up. You don't know nobody on Superior? Superior. On Superior, yeah. Anybody, you know. Nobody, though. I ask you, do you know anybody on Superior? You know nobody on Superior? Oh, Mike. You know, know Mike? People. How you know Mike? I grew up with him. So how you Still. know him? Mike, you know him? Yeah. That's the only person you know on Superior? Yeah. Tell me what else. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Listen somebody. to me. I don't know. Anybody that you got a problem with on Superior? I don't. We're going to dead it, bro. Okay, I don't know who you talking about, though. It don't matter. Yeah, Any, anybody we there. talking about on Superior that's dead, bro. Anybody. I don't know nobody else. It superior. don't matter. Anybody else superior that you know that you got a problem with is like, dead, bro. We had got into a little scuffle up here, but I I, I think we good. We good. Man, but like matter, dog bro. them, but dog them keep on texting me, man, sending me um records of you. You know what I'm saying? Study talking about you with me. Listen, but like bro. I don't mind that. You listen, know what I'm saying? But like talking, I am. If, that, me, had, if that had happened, my, then, listen, yeah, then oh well. This is my guy, bro. It, it, it didn't he happen. And listen, you keep on saying that you with me, bro. He don't fuck with nobody, bro. He don't bother nobody. He don't beat nobody. He don't owe nobody. He gets his own fucking money. He take care of his kids, bro. You feel me? Yeah, I'm trying to act like you. I'm trying listen, to wonder why you don't remember who I am. Man, I don't care about none of that right now. I give a fuck about my nigga because my okay. nigga's in there for me, bro. I ain't got no beef, He bro. ain't got no problem with you. Anybody you over there, beef, just leave him be, my nigga. That's all, all right. I ask. Good, good. All right? Good. Yeah. Him when he was trying to debate um those three dollars, he ended the show. Why you in the show? Tell me. His face. Tell him. Hey, tell him to his face. Oh nah. So play the whole thing again. Play the whole thing again. All right, there you have a full playthrough of this uh, press footage or whatever you want to call it, which is hot off the press, by the way. Now we're going to run it back again, and I'm going to give my commentary on what I, what I feel about it. So let's take it from jump, and I'll speak on it as it, you know, as it rocks through. Here we go. 
Yeah, yeah, Rewind it. All right, oh, let's play this bean beautiful bean footage. bean footage. Everybody mute up. What's that, Lamar? Yeah. All right. Okay, now he said, what's your name, Lamar? It sounds like he said that as Lamar was walking into the very notorious gas station, assumed to be the uh, same one that he got his legs lifted in the air and pound -town it out in. Um, so that, that should have been a, a key that something was up right there. You're walking into a, a place of business or whatever, and someone is behind you with the camera out saying, what's your name, Lamar? But I just want to say, dude that's pressing him, he's a punk. Because if anybody's really on some stuff or they really want to get their point across or press somebody about whatever it is, you're not going to have a camera with beautiful bean footage rolling as you're doing it. That's some punk stuff. That's some Internet stuff. I do not respect it. Right. I don't respect it. But, let, but let's keep going. Bro, bro. What's your name? Now, this is the second time he's approaching him. Bro, bro. What's your name? With his uh, soft, sweet ass voice. That's another. That's that. that that's another. That, that's the two things why I think this dude was a punk. You're recording this shit, so you're doing it for social media purposes. You know what I'm saying? At at as, as your main goddamn purpose. You want to clown the dude, whatever, but you're doing it with that intent. And then you got this soft ass voice, bruh, bruh. What's your name? Da 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 da. You know how people say when when people argue and they put too much bass in it, well, take the bass out your voice. This is the reverse of that. It's like, yo, dude, you want to talk to me? Put some bass in your voice, B, sweet ass motherfucker. Anyway, let's go. What? What's your name? I'm a rapper. Come on. Let me holler at you, man. Come on. Right. Now he said, what's your name? Lamar. And I believe he said, nah. <laughs> his birth giving game is Lamar, but he ends up telling him his name is L.A. But he's already kind of like wig trying to, Lamar that is, trying to wiggle out on something by denying his name. Let me just make sure I'm clear with this, that that's what he said. I do have headphones on, so I have the uh, benefit of hearing it in great quality. Let's, uh, let's run that back a little. He ended the show. Why are you in the Not show, bum? I wasn't done listening to you. I this nigga. Talking play the whole thing, thing again. Play the whole thing, thing. Yeah. 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 Rewind yeah. it. Yeah. All right, oh, let's play this bean beautiful bean footage. bean footage. Everybody mute up. What's that, Lamar? Yeah. All right. Bro, bro, what's your name? Lamar? What's your name? Robert. Okay, he didn't quite deny Lamar. He said, what's your name? He said, L.A. He said, Lamar. And then I think he said something like Robert. I think what uh, L.A. is trying to put forth is that he knows, he recognizes the person. Let me holler at you, man. Come on. Just, no, go ahead. Take your business. Come I'm on. To find that one they got. Shit, now, that's crazy right there. No, no, no. Take, take, take care. Handle your business. Handle your business. He's actually trying to direct him saying look look i want to talk to you lamar is willing to come out he wants to get this shit over with whatever's gonna happen he's like fuck it let's get let, let's get it popping whatever the fuck is gonna happen hold up i think the shit got fucked up let, let's get whatever's gonna happen and dude tells him no 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 handle your business and he goes to proceed to handle his business and what was lamar's business he was trying to buy a hat a hat at the gas station for years, for several years, he's been clowned about purchasing gas station hats. Yet, as the roast gods would have it, my turn, by the way, as the roast gods would have it, they deliver us beautiful bean footage of him admitting that he's in a gas station trying to buy a hat. So, dude is like, yo, get your gas station hat. See me on the way out. <laughs> oh, shit. Take your time. Take your time. You know me, right? Just take your time. Come on. He's like, you know me, right? He's trying to get a, a sense of familiarity so that, you know, it doesn't get to anything crazy. You, you know me, right? Don't kill me. What's up, baby? Give me one time. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Bro, you know uh you know anybody on superior? No. 
don't know nobody on Superior. You ain't got no grandkids and none on Superior. Nope. You don't know nobody on Superior. Now he's saying, you know what, anybody on Superior, you ain't got grandkids on Superior. As you're going to see, the dude is rolling with uh, Michael Stevens, the dude that folded L.A.'s uh, legs in the air, possibly at this very same gas station they had, uh, you know, a long history. Those that's watching, if you know, you know, I'm not going to go dig in the history of that situation. But he's denying that he knows anyone. See, at this point, I don't think he's seen Michael Stevens, the guy that he had a fight with yet. So now, dude so far is just solo. He, you know anybody on Superior? Uh, uh, you got any grandkids there? Because uh, Michael Stevens and L.A. both share a grandbaby, and I'm assuming they live on Superior, right? So he's denying it. No. So you ain't you ain't never got into it with nobody or nothing on Superior? No. Look, anybody you know on Superior, bro? That's a dead. They're my mans. They're my peoples, bro. I'm gonna be. I just can't get over how sweet this dude sounds. You trying to press someone, or you are pressing them, and you. In this case, he was successful, but with some sweet ass voice. And first off, no man should get that close to you, especially with a camera in your hand. I'd have told him like, yo, from jump, put the camera down, turn that shit off. You want to talk to me, you're going to talk to me like a man. I'm not coming with any of this punk shit. I ain't on that bullshit. And give me three feet, B, if you're going to, if you're going to, if you want to have a conversation. I'll entertain the conversation with you, but it ain't going down like this, bitch. You know what I mean? Just, just normal protocol for a man. You know what I mean? Nobody. Anybody you got any problem with on Superior? That's your dead, my nigga. I don't have no problem with nobody on Superior. You show. Sure. You ain't got no grandbabies or nothing. You don't know nobody on Superior. Probably got me mixed up. He keeps mentioning the grandbaby. He's trying to say, yeah, you got beef with my man Michael Stevens. Uh, you know, uh, the child lives somewhere on Superior. Maybe Michael Stevens live on Superior too. When dude's just denying it. At this point, he hasn't seen Michael. He's about to see him in a second though. Superior. On Superior, yeah. Anybody, you know? I ask you, do you know anybody on Superior? Come on, B, all of that? Fuck out of here, bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not acting like this shit happened to me here, but dude is just taking it. Let's go. You know nobody on Superior? Oh, Mike. You know Mike? So at this time, Michael Stevens manifests. He's like, oh, I know Mike. You know Mike? I grew up with him. Right, you know him? Mike, you know him? Yeah. That's the only person you know on Superior? Yeah. Tell me what, I'm, listen, I'm trying to figure out Listen somebody. to me. I don't know. Anybody that you got a problem with on Superior, I don't. We're going to dead it, bro. Okay, I don't know who you're talking about, though. It don't matter. Oh, yeah, Any. How you going to make your voice go more high pitched than this nigga? You be on this line, blah, 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 barking all of that blah, baritone in your voice. And yet, when some sweet ass nigga steps to you to press you, you're going to take your octave even higher, like you about to break glass out this motherfucker. <laughs> this shit crazy. Anybody we there. talking about on Superior that's dead, bro? Anybody? I don't know nobody. On it Superior. don't matter. Anybody hey. on Superior that you know that you got a problem with is like, dead, bro. We had got into a little scuffle up here, but I I, I think we good. We good. Man, but like matter, dog bro. them, but dog them keep on texting me, man, sending me um, records of you. You know what I'm saying? Study talking about you with me. Listen, but like bro. I don't mind. All right, now let's unpack that, also my term. That's Michael Stevens there. Now, Michael Stevens, I got to say, he sounds like, like a real dude in this situation, even his other situations. The little that I know, he sounds like a thorough guy, right? He's the one that beat this dude in an engagement, possibly at that very same gas station, folded his legs in the air, was, you know, doing whatever, no homo. But um, he's saying, he's saying, look, we had a little scuffle. He's being humble about it, you know, even though he had to get peeled off of la by his mans or whatever but he's being humble as i would too yeah we got into a little scuffle but i think we're good which is good i salute that i salute michael stevens for you know everything being good he ain't still on no bullshit or whatever that shit's dope and michael stevens isn't the punk ass nigga with the camera all in niggas face i think that shit, shit is stupid i'd have been smacked the shit out that i smacked that phone out his hand but um well, there was something else I wanted to say about that. Let me run it back just a tiny, teensy little bit. All right. Got into a little scuffle up here, but I, I, I think we good. We good. Man, but like matter, dog, them, okay, here we but go. dog, them keep on texting me, man, sending me um, records of you. You know what I'm saying? Study talking about you with me. Listen, but like I don't mind. Nah, man. Nah, man. See, now this is where puzzle pieces fit together. Because a few days ago, he was going at another YouTube individual trying to say that he's going to really 
put the press on him to get the police on him. He already got his girl, whoever already got a police case on this dude, this other YouTuber. But now he's uh, saying that he's really going to get the cops on him. And he's saying he knows what he did. Now, I'm assuming a little bit, but I'm pretty sure this puzzle piece is fitting together. I think this is what L.A. was talking about. Um, because what Michael Stevens said, he said, uh, dog and them keep sending me videos of you, of L.A., talking about that you whipped him, meaning whipped Michael Stevens. So I guess the assumption is that the other YouTuber is the one that has been sending him this footage. So that's why this dude, L.A., is talking about, oh, you can get the cops on you. You know what you did. You keep playing around. But, Duke, the other YouTuber didn't do anything. Listen to what Michael said. He said he keeps sending him footage he sends him the footage of you talking out of your own mouth that you whip dude it ain't like he's saying like yo dog this nigga la keep talking shit about you he beat you no he said if even if he did i'm not saying he did or he didn't but even if he did how you gonna put that on him you gotta stand on what you say you're already doing it on a public platform so you should just assume off the jump that michael's gonna hear that whoever's gonna hear that that's not on the other YouTuber. That's totally on you. If you don't stand on you believing that you whip dude or whatever, whatever, then don't let that come out your mouth to front to a whole bunch, bunch of people. That's all your fault. That's not that other person's fault. You know what I'm saying? You should expect some shit like that. So, so that means you ain't really standing on that because as soon as Michael Stevens said it, yeah, if you saying that you whip me, what's the first thing to come out your mouth? No, nah, bro. Come on, B. Man, that, you listen, know what I'm saying? But like, I if, if, that had, if that had happened, then, yeah, then, oh well. This my guy, bro. It, it, it didn't happen. You listen, keep going. See? Michael Stevens, again, another kudos. Hey, if it would have happened, if you would have whooped me, oh well, but it didn't happen like that. Why are you on this thing fronting like that? It's a very good question. Salute to uh, the dude, Michael. Saying that he don't you fuck me, with nobody, bro. He don't bother nobody. He don't beat nobody. He don't owe nobody. He gets his own fucking money. He take care of his kids, bro. Another sign of a real good dude. A lot of good dudes are going to have people that support them because they know where their heart is. Now, even though this nigga's on some punk stuff with the camera all in the face and the, and the high-pitched ass voice and all that, that part was a real moment. He's defending his homeboy and he's letting you know, like, look, this dude, he don't bother anybody. He chill. He take care. He makes his own money. He take care of his own people. He don't got problems with anybody. So you're not going to have a problem with him. I'm saying that. I could relate to uh, a situation like that on both ends, being the one that's been defended by others and being the one that's defending others. And the dude even says, like, yo, dude looks out for me because that's what good hearted people do. So don't get me wrong. Dude is a punk because he's doing this for YouTube, Instagram, whatever, with the camera and the high pitched voice. But the shit he's saying is real. And the dude, Michael Stevens, he seems like a real cat. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm trying to act like I'm trying Listen, to why you don't remember who I am. Man, I don't care about none of that. <laughs> he said, like, yo, he was from Jump. He was trying to get this camaraderie and familiarity. Yo, we know each other. Yo, don't press me like that with your sweet ass voice. We know each other, Robert, or whatever, whatever. I'm trying to see why you don't know that you already know me. <laughs> well, the pussy nigga's like, I don't even care about <laughs> that shit. I want some pussy shit right now. I'm a pussy, so I'm going to make you look like a bigger pussy than me, which he has he is achieved. I give a fuck about my nigga because my nigga's in there for me, bro. I ain't got no beef, he ain't man. got no problem with you. Anybody over there, beef. just leave him be, my nigga. That's all, all right, I ask. Good, good. All right. Yeah. Yep. Hey, yo, Phoenix. This and the thing is, as pussy as it is to have a camera in his face, the person he's doing it to is Mr. Wanna Expose Everybody. He's always playing people's footage. If this would have happened to anybody else that dude got an issue with, he would shove it down their throat for eons and shit. So it's well-deserved. It's well-deserved to have been shown this nigga getting punked out once again. You know what I'm saying? To this capacity. And it's some soft ass shit to blame another dude just because he sent him foot sent him Michael Stevens footage, if he even did that, of shit that was coming out of your mouth that you said that now you don't want to stand on. Now you talking, nah, bruh. How about when you was on the mic with the, you know, the thing covering your face? Oh, I beat that up. What about all that? Now it's nah, bruh, when he's in your face. That ain't the other YouTuber's fault. That's you. That's you that was running off at the mouth. So this was well-deserved, but I didn't want to um, not get the chance to say that that nigga's a punk. The nigga's soft, sweet-ass voice with a camera in a nigga face. I can't respect that. Nigga should have been got smacked the fuck out of or ignored or something. The fuck out of something like that. But you got punk by a punk. It is what it is. Anyway, I'm out. I got some food cooking.